All right, we'll go back to another tutorial for uh, Studio Basics. Today, we're gonna be learning about plugins. Now, you might be asking, what are plugins? Plugins uh, help you uh, build in Roblox Studio uh, a lot faster. Now, uh, I don't have my, uh, hang on, I need to, I need to do something, okay. So, there we go, all right. So, you you go up here, and uh, you'll see, like, plugins, even though my Doge came to the way. Okay, I'll just move that away. Alright, so you want to go plugins right here. And, and all you see, you see a bunch of plugins. Now, I'm going to teach you all these, and uh, these are uh, very helpful of what you're building for a game. So, let's go for the first one. Generate waterfall. Uh, this is, like, a waterfall generator. So, like, you don't have to, like, add, like, special effects to anything. Like, you can make it realistic, you can do, like, a bunch of styles, whatever you want, it can just stretch it out like that. Uh, it's highly recommended not to do, like, this kind of game, but yeah. Uh, it's basically, uh, what Generate Waterfall is. By the way, if you want to download these, uh, I'll have a, a link in the description for you to for you to get. Uh, the next one is Grow Grass. Now, uh, I don't really use this as much, but to, in order to do this, you would... This is like a, a grass painter, so basically, if you want to make like a grassy, uh, I don't know, grassy terrain map, this is a uh, highly recommended because it has like 3D grass and stuff, or like a blender and stuff. Oh well, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, number three, uh, oh, uh, this is, okay, okay, don't use that, okay. The next one is load character. Uh, this one is sometimes used, it's just used to load characters. Now, uh, let's just do, like, uh, the dev doge. So, you can spot R6 or R15. I reckon, I just do R6. And, uh, you can, like, uh, do, like, a bunch of stuff to it. Like, you can just name it, like, uh, sub to the dev doge. Like that, it'll show up. So, yeah, that's basically that plugin. Uh, the next plugin, we have 3D text. Now, you are definitely going to use this a lot for, like, cafes and stuff. Now, you add cursor, and you add, it, here's, like, an example, like, a sample text. You just place it down, and, uh, you can, uh, do, like, the text, like, uh, sub to the dev doge and stuff like that. And then you can choose whatever kind of bold you want. I kind of like the lapis pro bold, because it's my favorite. And then you could uh, resize it, tracking, leading, uh, I've never actually done one of these, uh, oh, and this just separates the words and stuff, so yeah. Uh, wait, what, it said back to zero. Okay, I'm just gonna put it like that. Alright, leading, uh, I've never tested, I've just tested this for like my first time, so I don't even know what all this does. Okay, leading pretty much just does nothing. Alright, so that's the next one. Thickness. This is like to show like how thick it is. I reckon just put it zero away. Hang on. Uh, I, I recommend adding like a little thick, but that's it. And then the scale, yep, definitely but large. Yeah, there we go. And then uh, you can uh, align it wherever you want it to. And uh, you, know, you can also do like a scale and stuff. And then you can choose whatever the color. So I like green, so I'm going to do like green and stuff. And then, uh, yeah, uh, you can do it like different materials. I, I like, I like neon personally. And you finalize, and then you have your little text, uh, right here. It's very nice. Alright. The next one is drag sun and drag moon. This basically just moves the sun and stuff, like, like just move it down. And then you'll have like your little moon. And this is like the same thing, except you just drag the moon and the sun comes up and stuff like that. But yeah, um gap fill uh this is highly recommended and it stays like a lot of your time so let me show you what it does so uh so, so what do you do with that and stuff uh it it actually uh expands it and uh makes like a little, little new part uh, i don't really use this though but it's highly recommended next one uh f3x now uh some of you might recognize this from uh some of my mini games um you use this to, like, build stuff. It's, like, good for, like, beginners and stuff like that. And, uh, yeah. Um, this basically has, like, everything in studio. Except this, uh, like, helps you more. It, like, trades you, like, stuff like that. So, yeah, uh, we'll do the next plugin. Uh, part to terrain. Uh, I don't really do, I don't really use this. If you're a terrain artist, then good for you. Uh, I'm just gonna do, 
Oh, I see what it does. So it basically does terrain for like the entire map, like uh, a bunch of like grass and stuff. Uh, that's basically what it does. The next slide, uh, build rig. This basically uh shows a character is like a dummy, for example, and you can, and then you can. I can't speak today. The dummy is used for for um designing characters and stuff like that for like simulator games whatever and stuff like that so yeah uh that's basically all the plugins i'll link each and every one in the description and you might be wondering where are you gonna get all these plugins from well there's two ways one you can go to manage plugins and then uh you can search up for plugins wait yeah you go plus and uh, you can find a, a plugin here or you can just go to create and then you can just search up for uh, plugins and stuff like that. So yeah, that's that will be all. That will be for all. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope this will help you build games in the future. But yeah, anyways, have a great day. I'll see you later. Peace.